How the heck did I get any of these toys? Wait, these are the reissues. Welcome to the Leomatic Show. So basically, these are the reissues of the G1 toys back in the 80s. Bumblebee and Warpath. That's all. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, guys. We'll see you next time. Okay, we're not actually ending the video. Alright, guys, so what we have here, as Leo is telling you, is the G1 reissues. This artwork, he's got a battle mask on. So does Obviously, Warpath. Yeah, this is, but this one doesn't have it. Like, you look at his face sculpt. It's This artwork is very dissimilar to the actual car. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, guys, so more than meets the eye. This is the G1 reissue. Legion Class B, a four-step changer, and here's some stats. And oh, here is... His bio. Guys, if you'd like to read the bio, pause the screen here for Bumblebee, and let's take a look at Warpath. Here's Warpath. This is a cool Warpath. And he's got the mask on, and he's got, he has a silver mask on. Obviously, the, you can see the figure is not silver. Possibly, guys, we'll paint this. In fact, I might re-chrome all of his wheels and treads. Not that they would necessarily be chrome, it just might look cool. This guy is a seven step changer. What? And you can see his stats here. And these guys are available in Walmart. And I have not seen them anywhere else. So I think you probably would have to go there to get them if you guys would like them. And you can see, pause the screen here if you would like to read Warpass Bio. Okay, buddy. What do you think? Should we crack them open and see what they're all about? Yeah. So let's do Bumblebee first. Thing on his head. So guys, there was also let's see, there was gears and there was um, who's the other guy? Do you remember the other guy? Dude, look, look Swerve at him. Back like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's let's like check that out. For his back tire. Really? Oh yeah, it is, huh? Wow, that's cool. This is cool. Cover for his back tire. Yeah, let's see if I'm we can pull it in for you guys. Instructions, because I've already read the instructions. No, That's neat. Okay, guys, so here he is in robot mood, and you can see a little bit of articulation, and Leo's going to bust it into vehicle mode here in a second. You can see there's not a lot to this. This is kind of weird, though. This is dissimilar in the back. Did you see that? That's kind of weird. I wonder why that is. I mean, his arms lined up at the same points, basically, but that's kind of curious. You push these in. Head. Like these. We're gonna, we're gonna push this in. Boy. <laughs> it's a bit. It's a tall robot. It could be such a small car. Whoa, guys! Look at this. This is tiny. <laughs> it's tiny town. Wow. I don't remember having this as a kid. It's Warpath. Oh, and this it roll is really funky too. It's Warpath, wow. guys. It's Warpath. So Leo's getting out Warpath, and let's take a look here real quick. Uh oh. So apparently you can. Oh man. Is this more tension clip stuff? Yeah, it probably is. Um. All right, guys. So <laughs> apparently you just pull his legs completely off when you're trying to take this out. Where does this go? What? Dude, this is weird. Look. Look. What did I do? I don't understand. How is this supposed to go? Does it go like this? Let's go over the top. Alright guys. We got a mystery. Let's see. Okay, so. You know what? This isn't bad to just put together because you can just shove it in and call it good. And let's see if I can do this without destroying it though this time. Oh gosh, guys, look at that. That's weak. Dude, this keeps. You can't pull his, I can't pull his legs out without un, 
unhitching his vibe here. Guys, I got I got Warpath in the tank phone. Well, maybe Leo will have better luck at this point in this guy in the robot more than I did. And let's take a look at Warpath in his tank mode. Yeah, just throw it on the floor, that's good. And his Autobot shield is bad. This looks a lot like the Generations, except the Generations is a little bit cooler. And it looks like this comes here. Guys, I'm going to see if I can transform this one without destroying it. Which is a very definite maybe. Oops. I think that needs to be there. Look, guys, I got it success the legs successfully out. Oh, you did? Yeah, so basically you have to undo the arms before the legs. Oh, you got to do the arms first? Okay. Yeah, but you also have to do the legs very carefully. Does this guy have separate legs or does he just do this? I feel like I'm missing, am I missing something on this dude? Maybe, I don't know. I feel like I am, where's his head? Hello. His, he his head is supposed to be, his head Oh, is, is this his head here? Mm-hmm. Wait, where's his head? His head's in there. How do you get it open? Oh, you just try to, I can do it. Oh. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the turret, okay. And then he comes up like this. He says, hey, fellas. Like this, and then, is it? Oh, is this how he goes, Leah? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> Warpath. Huh. <laughs> well, no matter what you think, guys, um, certainly the Transformers toys have come a long way since G1. No doubt about that. I mean, these reissues are kind of cool. I like this one better in vehicle mode. Let me let me try to drum over you again. Okay, so just remember, you pull out these parts first before you do the other parts. <laughs> okay, let me try it. Okay. Yeah, guys, because I didn't do that. And I completely just pulled his head off. Or no, yeah, exactly. His head off? <laughs> yeah. So you pull on the tires? Okay. Yeah, you pull on the tires. And then they pull the legs. Oh. Except for I feel like the legs should come out more. Oh, they do. Okay. Oh! Yeah, that's easier. Plus, it's actually how you do it. I guess if you're not a dummy like me, you're probably... Okay. Okay, cool. So, let's just put that back together. Huh. Well, there it is, guys. I mean, the G1 reissues. Look at it. He, does, he doesn't roll right, though. Look. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. I don't even know. These are all gimmicky as get out. No doubt about that. So which of these two do you like better, buddy? I like both of them the same. Yeah, that's fair. I think I do too. Because we don't have enough bumblebees, so we had to get more bumblebees. Now we have like 50 million of them. <laughs> but the Warpath, the Warpath, I like in tank mode. I don't really like him in, via, in uh, robot mode at all. But uh, in his tank mode, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. His how's he stand? He doesn't seem super stable. Bumblebee? Yeah, can he stand by himself? That's a little my help. <laughs> He's all crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's the only way he can stand. Okay, let's see here. Here's Wheeljack's do. This is what Wheeljack's motto is. Never do what the enemy expects you to do. That's that's a good motto. Words to live by, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh, that didn't work at all. Hey, you can look and you can roll on his arms. <laughs> it looks I like he's getting going. ready to shovel the street or something, <laughs> like a snowplow. Is he gonna shovel a street yeah. and make ground? Well, these are kind of cool, guys. I, I mean, we probably will get some of the some of the bigger ones, some of the deluxe class. Do you want reissues at some point? <laughs> Because I'll take this. You guys, look at bubble. <laughs> so one thing that's like cool about these is I love the rims on these. I think those rims are awesome, and Optimus has similar rims to that. Optimus Prime is pretty cool, guys. You might be that possibly. He keeps rolling on his arms. That must hurt. I uh, yeah, must. <laughs> but there, guys, is our look at the a couple G1 issues of the Legion. <laughs> Like I said, we didn't really like Civil, we didn't really like Gears. 
Uh, those ones were a little bit too too cheesy. Bumblebee and Warpath were the right. They just they just look too. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't like the the Legion class G1 reissue so far, guys. I think uh, they I mean they're obviously not really trying to cater to me, but I'm not fans of those at all. So, but uh, anyway, guys, there's a look at this. <laughs> If you did enjoy this look at these sort of questionable toys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you're not done so guys. Hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button. If you would like to be notified of the latest greatest content that's available, guys, including more... Who knows? You guys just never know what's going to show up on the show. We are sort of on the march to 400 Transformers, guys, which possibly will happen this year, maybe? Possibly. Probably be pretty close, guys. So uh, definitely hit the blue bell if you'd like to be notified. As that content becomes available, guys, you can follow us on our Twitter feed where I try to do updates. As soon as they happen, guys, there is also Twitter-only specific content as well, guys, if you guys would like care to follow us there. Guys, leave us a comment. Let us know if you have any of these G1 issues, if reissues, if you like the G1 reissues, if you have the original G1s, if you like those. I've seen a number of those around, and usually they are fairly expensive if you can find them. They're not... I, th I think the toys are better. I mean, I think there's a coolness sort of to these, uh, and there's a little bit of history and everything, but I think the newer generations of toys are quite a bit cooler. Better, in my view, but... This is how you did the old that, Bumblebee. That's just me. That's just me. So, but guys, leave us a comment. Let us know your thoughts as well. Guy, he can transform on his arms. Yeah, this is cool. He can just drive into the front of himself. Mm -hmm. Nice. Complex. Well played, Bumblebee. Anyway, guys, that's good for us this time. We will see you all next time. You can see where he's going on the road. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can actually have his head up. <laughs> and that is a good way, guys, for us to say bye-bye.